Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. My name is Miller. Margo. You can find us everywhere where you would find a normal podcast. Search Nerds Who Swing on, on Facebook. Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Pinterest. You can find us on SoundCloud. You can find us on YouTube. We are so many places. Or even on iTunes. That's probably where you found this one. And then the most important one is you can find us on Patreon.com, where if you want to just like give us a dollar or two to help like just pay for hosting our website and our podcast. Oh, that would be so nice nice of people i know Can you right? imagine if they did that there might even be bonuses eventually bonuses yeah sexy bonuses no lame bonuses oh you good. could do our taxes lame bonuses <laughs> <laughs> bonuses including that's right <laughs> Uh, and then you can also, we have a, a contest with every episode where if you want to be in our logo. Yeah. Did you see our logo? Can you see it? Pull it up. Do you see our super sexy logo? That's right. Is it me right now? It is right now. It's me right now. <laughs> That's me, folks. Um, but maybe that could be you. That's right. Which would be super hot. Send us your picture. Send us a picture. Any no, one of these. No faces? No faces. No faces. Not that your face isn't yeah. sexy, but, you know, like yeah. other sexy business. Also, you know... No penises unless there's also a vagina there. Because who wants a penis? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, just saying. Yeah, as 50% of the vote, I'm not voting for that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah, send us in your pictures if yeah. you if you want to. You could to. be the background of the Nerds Who Swing logo. Can you imagine yeah. your body, your sexy, sexy bod as the background of our logo? Damn, Margo. Mm, so hot. Yeah. Anyway. I like it. Okay, we're Nerds Who Swing. That's right. Margo, Miller, enjoy the episode. You're not ready. I can't see a penis in that hand. <laughs> <laughs> you only have one of your headphones in. Is that um, intentional? Oh, no. That's okay. the worst one. I need that one in. You don't want your headphones in. That's not true. Okay. All right. Today we are talking about profile tips and just the tip. Helpful. Just the tip. Only the tip. Only the tip of the profile. We're not going balls deep on profile. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already have the episode title. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, am I naming the apps that we specifically use, or just go to your? Let's just talk profile tips in general. Profile tips in general. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, that's fine. Because they pretty much apply to everything. <clears throat> there might be really specific things for each app. I would agree. Some apps have more questions than others, yeah. but most of them are sort of, um, you are free to answer as much or as little as you want. Right. Basically. Apps and, and websites. Mm -hmm. Which, oh, well, yeah, I'll I guess it's profile talk about the, making. I think the big difference between the two mm -hmm. of profile on a website versus a profile in an app okay. is the amount of space you have. I feel like on the website, you have, like, your picture section or whatever, mm -hmm. and you get, like, a headline, and then you have, like, a question section that they ask you, right. and then there's, like, an extra questions if you felt like it, right? and then there's, like, extra Free comments, yeah, and that's then, like, probably things true. that you like or don't like, and it, yeah. it just feels like there's way more mm -hmm. um, kind of information if you want to share it versus an app. It feels like there's less. Would you think that's kind of... I think that's true. You're the I, app kind of so. yeah. I would also say... That just across the board, you want to give enough information that you're sort of being honest about what you want because otherwise you're not going to attract the right people anyways. Mm -hmm. But also, I would limit it. I think you're right that the website has, like, you could write a novel about yourself, mm -hmm. but no one's going to read that novel. Like, nobody has that kind of time. No, I think so with both think, of them, there's kind of almost like a, like, when, when you drop food on the floor, there's like a five-second rule. <laughs> I feel like there's like a three-second profile initial sort of. thing where it's like, Based you on your picture photo. and maybe the couple words that jump out at the yeah. top of your header. Yeah. And it's like an elevator pitch. And like, yeah. that's it. Yeah, like, I that's think what so. You, that's, like, you get, I'm give. I, I, mean, I do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you show me a thing and you're like, what do you think? And I give it a three-second cursor or you're like, yeah. yes or no. I would say, because usually the first thing that tends to come up is a photo, um, age, mm -hmm. gender, maybe a line uh, that you've written about yourself. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Some places, some don't have that. And um, maybe your general location. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they show it in terms of how far away that person is from you. Right. So it'll say like like 32F, 35M. So like a 32-year-old female, 35-year-old male. And it'll say 26 kilometers. So they're right. 26 kilometers away from you. Some mm -hmm. places say that. Or they'll say like 
Vancouver, Toronto, New York City, whatever. Like, it'll just say your city. Right. Um, and then you, like that. Most of them are like that. So, I would say you want to put a picture that is current, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, like, an accurate representation of both of you. Yeah, don't put your high school graduation picture when you're, like... 42. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Also, um... There's nothing wrong with being 42. Nothing, but just be... But don't put your... Yeah, just like your put high school a picture, picture. picture. Yeah. It just... It doesn't create a very good situation once you meet that person. Yeah. Face well, because they might not even know who you are when they go to meet you. Mm -hmm. And people can say no because they think you're too young. Yeah. You don't just have to be young, yeah, We've right? had that like, where we've looked at a profile and we're like, oh my gosh, they look like babies. Exactly. Like, we can't meet them. Yeah. Like, not had, because we don't think we're in their league or anything, but it's like... I could never fool around with these people because I'd be creepy. like, does your mom know that you're out this Yeah, exactly. Life? Like, you're 18? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And some people are like that. Yeah. So you may and you probably will have just as much luck if you are 42 as you would if you were 18, even mm -hmm. though maybe that's not what you would think. So, yeah, age. Some places put your age range. Some places have your exact age. So either or. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to say about your photo. A lot of people will pixelate or cover their faces that's pretty normal um you definitely don't have to you don't i think it depends on it, the, it's, the up, website. it's up to you um if it's a more like i think on the websites we did pixelate our face for the kind of pictures that we shared with everybody yes but often once there's a connection made you both have liked each other's post or you've yeah uh, whatever the terminology is they they use on that certain app you know um and a match has been made yeah. <laughs> um then they might get access or they can request access to your other photos right. so that way it's not just plastered all over everywhere right um although that's a personal preference thing okay so speaking of pictures let's play a game okay okay game, Are you ready game of pictures okay i'll say two types of profile pictures and you tell me which one you would say yes to okay 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 would you either pick a picture of a nice couple, mm -hmm. see their faces, yeah. sunset behind them? Beautiful. Or a dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first picture you're seeing. Okay. Zoomed up close, <laughs> extremely hairy dick. <laughs> or the nice couple uh, with the sunset view behind Couple. Them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Uh, round two. Yeah, round two. Okay, a nice picture of a couple. Their faces are pixelated. Okay. There's the beach behind them. Still a beach. Still a beach. <laughs> I like the beach. <laughs> The other picture is an extremely close-up of a vagina. Like, extremely close. Right. I'm going to go with the couple. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, one last one. Okay. Uh, a couple. A picture of a couple uh -huh. windsurfing. Okay, beach still is behind on the them. beach. Sunset again. Yeah. Um, they, they, you know. Sunset windsurfing. Yeah. And the other one is, like, just of a dude. Oh, <laughs> In a his dude. office. <laughs> In, uh, the, in a basement. Yeah. No the, windows. The couple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Although I'm concerned about yeah. him. Okay. But, yeah. So, profile, initial pictures. <laughs> what should the first picture be? <laughs> it should be of the couple. Yeah. Yes. Should I see your junk in the first picture? You should not. The only exception is boobs. <laughs> Her boobs can be out, but it shouldn't be an extreme close-up of just... I still I still feel like a couple picture is better. Yeah. Um. I don't, it just like proves that you're a couple. I honestly, I if, it's, know if it's you're a picture like a real of just person. a woman, yeah. I go like, oh, so this is a single woman. Yeah. And then if you scroll through, if there's a couple pictures or if you read the bottom and it says couple, you're like, oh, so it is a couple, which right. is not a disappointment, but it might be for some people who true. are looking for females. Yeah, you see a picture of just a female and you're like, great, this yeah. is what I've been looking for. And then you're like, oh, she comes with a guy. I don't, no, I'm true. not interested in that. Yeah, or, right. uh, some people no, and then vice right. versa as well. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like the picture should represent who you actually are. If it was just me looking for somebody yeah. or a couple or whatever, then I would put a picture of just me. I wouldn't put a picture of, right. I've seen this too, a girl with like three of her girlfriends. Right. And you're like, which one so is she? So which one are you? Yeah. And also like, is it all of you? Like, yeah. do I get, do I get all of you? Right. <laughs> like yeah. I'm going to be disappointed if all four girls don't show yeah. up at my door. Exactly. So it's anyways, yeah. I, I feel like it should just be, and it doesn't have to be an underwear shot. It doesn't have to be a bikini no. shot. It can be. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be on the beach. It should be, though. <laughs> it can <laughs> just be a normal yeah. picture. It but should it be should a normal just, picture. It should show that you are like a real human yeah. person. It's like when you go to McDonald's having watched a McDonald's ad. And it's like, well, that's not what the fucking burger looks like <laughs> right. in real life. It's not the burger you I feel was disappointed. Promised. Yeah, there's penis Sorry, on McDonald's. this burger. Sorry, I hope McDonald's doesn't listen to this. I like McDonald's, <laughs> but yeah. All backpedaling. Yeah. Um, 
Right, because your picture is kind of your first couple seconds of yeah, an introduction to somebody. I think so. And again, I will say, I think the pixelated thing is okay, especially at first if you're feeling nervous about mm-hmm. putting your face out there. Go ahead and pixelate it or put one of those little like emoji happy faces or hearts or whatever over it, you know. Right. Um, and then once you've chatted with people, it is very common to be like, can we exchange yeah. photos? And at that point, and you just have to do what you feel comfortable with. Well, and if you, you're going to meet them face to face though, they kind of have to know who they're. Well, yeah. Meeting. I mean like after the first picture, some websites and apps you share more than like not just a private gallery or whatever, but like just other pictures That's after right. the first one. Yeah. So Which I would say. I think is a good idea. Like you can share other pictures of just him or just her. At that point. At that point after. Mm-hmm. But, like, you really want to be honest about who you are mm-hmm. uh, because they're going to find out eventually. That's right. Like, if you are a dude who is super overweight and you're nervous because you don't, if you think that you put your picture out there. No one's going to want No one's going to want yeah. to. Well, they're going to find out at some point. Like. That's right. What, what you, like, what you look like. Yeah. Whether that's what they're into or not into, that's beside the point. But you want to be honest about what you look like. I think so. I also think it would be if if I put my picture on our profile and nobody contacts us because mm-hmm. they're I'm not their type, right? Or whatever. That's a very quiet, subtle form of rejection mm-hmm. where maybe they aren't interested in you. Maybe they're busy. Maybe yeah. they don't use the app anymore. Maybe they are having relationship yeah. issues and they're not you know, playing with other people right now, whatever. But if you meet face to face and they're like, Yeesh. they're like, well, wow, you don't look anything. Right. Like that's picture. rough. That is not a subtle or quiet form of rejection. That no. is a very in your face, pretty rough type of rejection. And I would rather avoid that myself. So yeah. if you like only want whatever this demographic is and I don't fit into that, that's fine. I have plenty of fun. I'm, uh, we're good, but you know, everybody's, mm-hmm. some people don't like red hair. Yeah. Some people don't like whatever. And like, as Weirdos, much as you want to be honest about who you are, awesome. you can do things when you're taking your picture of you to make you look worse or better. <laughs> yes. Like give yourself a nice camera angle. Yeah. <laughs> like, smile perhaps. Smile or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. but you want to look your best, but like you, you want to be honest about who you are. Right. I should be able to look at your profile picture and then walk into a bar and pick you out exactly. I think so. If uh, if you are meeting a couple for coffee or a drink or whatever, and they walk in and they're not sure which one you are, mm, that's not great. Right. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Yeah. Um, yeah age, gender, that's pretty obvious. A lot of um, apps or websites will ask you like how long you've been in the lifestyle. So that's up to you. Sometimes it's like a drop down thing where you only, you know, you just have a, t- a period of time to choose from. Okay. Some of them you can write in your own answer. So I just write in whatever, but you know, haven't done anything yet, but yeah. interested or voyeurs or exhibitionists right. or. So it might not just be a number of like years or whatever, right. but it sometimes might be actual it is. experience yeah. that you've had. Yeah. Sometimes it is literally like I have been into four and there's like right. less than a year. One to five years. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. And it's not and a bad thing because people whatever. might be looking for somebody with different levels of experience. Yeah. I, I think especially, I don't know why I'm assuming that newbies are mostly listening. I sh- probably shouldn't. But there's no shame in that. Mm-hmm. Like, not once have we said, you know, back, especially when we were, like, super new, not once have we ever got anybody who's like, oh, you're not new. Yeah. Like, everybody loves that. Yeah. Everybody's and we're still relatively new. And we're, we we're are still, still less than a year. New. Like, so... Anyways, there's just, there's no shame there. Mm-hmm. It's not like, oh, I got to lie and say I've been into this for years. Like, no, no one cares. No. no, not really. Plus they would probably be able to figure it out. Well, probably. That's true. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe you've been like soft swapping for years, but now you want to be full swap couple yeah. or vice versa. Mm-hmm. Like uh, expectations change, needs change, wants change. Yeah. So it, it doesn't mean really anything. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a lot of, there'll be uh, sometimes some acronyms like... M slash F or just MF couples. So like male, female couples. Mm -hmm. So like we are a male, female couple. So I would write for us that we, we would be looking for other Mm -hmm. male, female couples or F like females, or I mean, there's FF or female couples. And then in terms of threesomes, I'm sure people know this, but like MMF is two guys and a girl F like two, two Fs is two girls, you know, that kind of thing. So that tends to be a short form that a lot of people 
use on the sites. Okay. Although I would also say that people are pretty open to you asking questions if you weren't sure what they meant. If there right. was some kind of, I mean, like male, a, female, that's pretty obvious. Yeah. F M. Like yeah. It's it's not revolutionary, but there might be other things written in there where you're like, well, what does that mean now? Like, what yeah. is, you know? So just depends. Just ask. Yeah. It's Doesn't totally hurt. normal. People love talking about themselves, so ask them a question. Yeah, exactly. Uh, lots of places will ask when you are setting up your profile. It may or may not be something that other people can see, but they'll ask what your age range is in terms of what you're looking for. Oh, okay. So it should filter some results when they're uh, sending you potential couples and people that match with you. Right. If you aren't interested in someone who's over a certain age, under a certain age, and you put that in, it should kind of filter that out. Mm-hmm. It may not always, but it should. So that's the right. thing you should talk about with your partner. If yeah. you have an age range, maybe you don't. Um, sometimes there's race as well. Mm-hmm. What races that you are or are not physically attracted to. So yeah. you can populate that however you need to. And then often it says not only what you're looking for in terms of couples or women or men, but um, what you're looking for, like casual, intimate, they might use words like that, um, long-term, or polyamorous, like there's right. all kinds of different things that you might be looking for. Okay. So I guess, yeah, those these sites would probably cross over with a lot of other, like not just swingers, but other things. If I think that they can, yeah. yeah. Where like, like Tinder, for example, is known primarily for the casual nature of the hookup, Mm -hmm. right? Which is certainly, um, couples do that too. Like it's not like you wish because you're in a couple, it doesn't have to be, you know, you can't have casual sex anymore. Um, so put casual in there. If you're Mm -hmm. not really into keeping up a texting relationship with somebody, you maybe don't want or care if you see them multiple times put casual and again you're not roped into anything like Mm -hmm. that's just what you're looking for things can change um intimate versus friendly you know if you're kind of hoping to talk to people in the lifestyle over coffee and just kind of get information about it i would probably put that you're looking for like friendship Mm -hmm. if you're looking to hook up with people i would probably put that you're looking for intimate (laughs) type you know or (laughs) sexual or something like that and then yeah long term short term whatever and maybe you're looking for all of those things list all of them Mm -hmm. that's fine um some of those things might be you know like a drop down menu where it's helping filter out your matches some of them might just be a way that you're actually like typing it into your profile right so yeah um Trying to think what else in terms of making your profile. Some of them have body type, okay. um, like height or weight or curvy or tall or athletic or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that's up to you if you want to describe right. yourself a whole bunch. I guess bunch. probably so with have lots of those things, trouble. it all depends if it's important to you to filter yeah. by that or not, right? In ter- well, because it's both sides, mm-hmm. whether you're describing yourself or whether you're describing your the people that you want to meet. Right. So... If you're very specific in terms of what you want to meet, yeah, that's going to narrow down your matches. Maybe that's exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. Maybe it narrows it down too much and you don't end up meeting as many people as you were hoping. So you kind of have to play that game of like, if I put that I'm only into athletic build, Mm -hmm. but this person didn't write, didn't fill in their build, am I still going to kind of match with them, you know, (laughs) it's that kind of a thing. So I would say if it's very important to you, put all the filters in that are important to you. If it's not important to you, just leave that one. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of describing yourself, I would describe yourself as much as you want. I tend to prefer to put up photos of us Uh just because in my view, everybody's version of tall is different than somebody else's. If, if I, if a girl is five, two, then any guy who's over five, eight is going to feel tall. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's all, it's just what, I don't know what tall is to you. Yeah. Like, okay, six, six, that's tall to everybody. Um, But but. otherwise, if you're in sort of more of a, an average build or height or weight or proportion or whatever, like, I I don't know what athletic means to you. I don't know what curvy means to you. Voluptuous, is that different than curvy? To some people it is. Some people it's the same definition. I don't know. So. I would just rather put up a photo and be like, I'm whatever you think. Right. <laughs> if, if I fit into one of those definitions right. that you like, great. Right. Um, I, I don't know. It's a little bit different if you're putting in like blonde, blue eyes, uh, things that maybe don't change as, as much, but, um, 
yeah. or, or, or sort of not don't change, um, aren't up for definition or, or up for right, interpretation. Yeah, my eyes are always going to yeah, be the same Yeah, you're, you're going to have the same color eyes all the time. Yeah. But probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes, I would say I, that it's my preference to just put in a photo. That's just me. Um, what about location? Location seems pretty important. Yeah, location. Um, again, it's it's your location and what you're looking for. So if you're a person who travels a lot, maybe your filter in terms of where geographically you're looking for people is doesn't matter at all because you're all over all the time. Right. Maybe it really, really does matter and you're like too busy and too in your one spot to not go anywhere except for your nearest city. Mm, I guess too if, so. you, if you're – yeah. Like if you don't live in the city that you normally like find people in or play in, that's like true. if you live a couple hours away, mm-hmm. you might want to set your location as if it was in that city versus yeah. your actual like home location or something. That's right. I think it's also very common for people to do that in terms of anonymity. Mm-hmm. If you live in quite a small town, right. maybe you don't want to put your small town's name. You're, of course, welcome to, but if, if you are uncomfortable with it, right. then just pick the name of the biggest city that's closest to you. Mm. That's probably where you're going to find most people anyway, yeah. and more likely than not, there will be people from your small town or small towns that are near you yeah. that also just put the big city right. as their name. Because you might also get things where people are like, where is that? Yeah, that's true. If you put your yeah. small town name, where they're like, "What state is that in?" Yeah. Like, the, you know, mm-hmm. and that and that makes it a little bit tough to try to connect with people. Yeah. And I've also had too, though. I've had people message us that are very far away, right. like, like the a, other side of the country. Yeah. <laughs> but they come here all the time. Right. I'm like, oh, well, then okay. Right. Like, I wasn't really going to put much sort of time or effort into chatting with this person. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you come here for work a lot, then great. Like let's keep that, keep that up. Right. Right. So I guess I think it depends on your lifestyle in terms of travel Mm -hmm. and, um, and that as to what you want to put your city in and then what you want to put your, uh, whatever, like location in terms of your filters for other people. Okay. So what would you say is like one of the more important features of, or per, like aspects of your profile other than picture, which we said was pretty important. I think your photo is pretty important. Yeah. Um, a side note about the photos. There's also cute ways that you can have photos of you that don't show your faces that also aren't just like a huge picture of your penis. Yeah. Um, but like I've seen, I don't know, people at the pool or at the beach, like you're mm-hmm. so happy with, but you know, like it's like, like legs and stuff kind of like laying by a beach. You can kind of just get the sense of a a person a little bit without necessarily having like a cartoonishly weird emoji over your face or a pixelated thing. So I just, there are things like that. I don't like when people put a picture of like their dog right? or like a tree. Yeah. Because not like, that's not tree. helpful like, to yeah. me. Like, it's an attractive you have tree. a dog. Good for yeah. you. I it's don't got know. huge branches. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm not branches. into I just don't swing that way. Yeah. So, I would say, um, or even like, I don't know. It depends, I guess. I just, I think that you'll have more luck with people chatting with you if you put an actual picture of you right. that includes your face. But there are cute ways of kind of getting around that. Um, mm-hmm if you wanted to, and then have those other pictures that show you more, not necessarily show you like naked or anything and just show more of you, Mm -hmm. um, later on once you've already been chatting. I would say that your first line is important. Um, different apps and websites treat them differently. Sometimes it is just like, it's whatever your name is and Mm -hmm. it'll just say like looking for whatever. Right. So probably shouldn't make your name like looking for Dick one, two, three. You should give it like a real. <laughs> I mean, it puts it right on front street. I don't know. <laughs> you should maybe make your name a little bit better. Yeah, I I don't know that you have to necessarily make your name your name. No, it doesn't Although, have to be your name, but it, it could is be kind of like... handy because I've chatted with people for a good chunk of time before and then gone like, uh, what are your guys' names? Yeah, well, you shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> like, but you don't really. Your realize name would be it, a good thing to put go, in there. Your couple's uh, names, like I don't know. Your we're name. So, yeah. yeah. Well, because it'll be like a hot, fun couple or whatever, yeah. and then you're chatting with them for a long time. Yeah. You're like, I don't actually know these people's names. Right. So I, yeah. I would say at some point putting in your name, but you can do a cutesy um, yeah. 
little, I don't know, We're not even supposed thing. to be here today. Yeah, something. <laughs> but usually there's a, a line where it would be like looking for whatever. Mm-hmm. And because that's a part that you can put in yourself, that's not going to be like filtered for you in terms of matches. Right. So people might come up where it says like looking for long-term polyamorous couple. Right to spend life with something like that. Well, if you want to casually play and like have sexual experiences with another couple, but you don't want to actually date and live with and, and whatnot, if that's not your goal, then that's probably not a couple you want to bother messaging with because they clearly want something that's different than you. Mm -hmm. So that first line can really help because even if they have come up in your feed or they've liked your picture or they've messaged you or whatever does it necessarily mean that the filters kind of caught all of your things that you're looking for right so i would say that first line is really helpful okay so i mean a lot of the ones that you see are pretty generic which makes sense it's a nerve-wracking weird thing mm-hmm. how often are people like well what do you want yeah you know when you're like well i don't know i was so right. fun i guess <laughs> like right it's yeah. it's weird to be put yeah. On the spot like that. Yeah. But I would just put what you're looking for. And just be honest. Yeah. Looking for couples right. or females or males or whatever right. for drinks and more if the chemistry is right, right or for casual hookups or for – like that's the stuff that you tend to see. That's the wordage that you mm-hmm. tend to see. So so what yeah. – is there anything you really hate seeing like other than big – Big dicks is their initial profile picture. I will say, just as a little <laughs> disclaimer, I do like penises. Yeah. It's just... I don't want that to be the first thing that I see about yeah. somebody, right? Like, Yeah. Oh, you have a... Good for you. It's not... <laughs> I assume they have a penis. Yeah, I, I imagine that you're equipped down there yeah. somehow. And, and maybe we'll get to the point where you send us a picture or something, mm-hmm. but you don't need that to be the initial... I agree. You don't do that in real life. Walk well, around with your... Some people probably do, but... Your dick out and everything else covered. And yeah. It's like... <laughs> it's more exciting, though, if you've already been chatting with them and or maybe you've already met them or you've already played with them or mm-hmm. something, and then you get, like, a sexy naked picture because right. it's like, oh, like, I've played with all of that right. or I'm going to play with all of that, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. next time we see them or something. It's way hotter than just, like, oh, that's a penis. Great. Because right. you don't know who that penis is attached to. Maybe you're not interested in that person whatsoever. Yeah. So it's it's a little bit it, it's weird. A little strange. Um, oh, so other than that, is there anything else in profiles that, that you see? don't like? No, not really. Okay. Um, the the totally blank. We talked about this on the other, a different podcast, but mm-hmm. um, the blank profile. I don't know if it's added like by right. a troll or however right. you want to word it, but they. Where there's no information, but there's like a super hot picture, that's mm-hmm. kind of annoying. Oh, okay. Um, I tend to just not, I don't message any of those people. It just seems too unlikely yeah. that they're real to me. Um, but I've heard a lot from other couples and friends that we have and stuff right. that um, sort of the general feel of like, have you found anybody real on here yet? That kind of a thing. Mm. Um, because you, you do get people that make fake right. stuff. So I would say that is pretty annoying and stupid. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Because why? Because I show you profiles yeah. and things, and what do you think? When you is there anything where you're like, ugh? <laughs> um, I mean, you should probably keep things like politics and religion out of your profile. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, because again, if you're not looking to marry these people, yeah, maybe you don't really care if you have the same views as them, yeah. or maybe you do. You might, but but you I'm, can get to that. Yeah, that's... if you meet them for a drink, and then yeah. you can learn that they're completely yeah. not your type or they are or whatever right yeah that's yeah. a good point I would take well that done out. um do you like websites or apps better i like apps mm-hmm. personally and i think that's just a stupid like it's just a way i think of it in my head because the like the websites to me feel like i have to be like at home sitting down with my computer and kind of like almost have some time to devote to it but the apps i feel like you can be cooking supper or like whatever, busy in your normal life. And then just, you get, get a, like a match or a notification or something like that and and just pick up your phone and Mm -hmm. message with somebody. It just seems a little more accessible and a little more in your day-to-day life. So you're 
I don't know. Right. When you're waiting in line somewhere. You yeah, can, you can go check or Yeah, whatever. it just seems like that. And I'm sure that, I mean, also most, lots of websites do have apps, so one sort of goes right into the other, mm-hmm. really. But that's just my preference. Okay. In terms of ease of use, I guess. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, it's just me. Cool. Um, also, one last thing. This isn't really a profile tip, so maybe it doesn't yeah. count in here. I was just going to say that... For websites and apps, in general, it seems like the goal is to find somebody there and then go chat with them somewhere else. Right. If that makes sense. So you end up going to Kick or other messenger apps or texting or whatever your preference is from there. So um, it's like to make the initial connection, but a lot of the apps have maybe not the best chat yeah, like we use it's other apps and websites sometimes. to kind of like funnel people to our kick account. Exactly. So we could set up chats with, the, with yeah. both of us. So that's one thing too. It's yeah. not really a tip. But. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Any uh, last profile tips or anything like Any that? Any final words? Yeah. Um, closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. I would say that it's, I really like when there's a little more personality right. to the profile too, if you can. I get that people get nervous about posting their photos and stuff, but if you have like a cute one of you in like a Halloween costume or something, or yeah. like I don't know, mm-hmm. whatever, doing a thing that you windsurfing, whatever yeah. your windsurfing. thing is, that's cool. Like, yeah. like um, that's true. there's a few people who it's a kind of a good way to show you, but without it being like a close up, like just shot of your yeah. face or whatever, like in some cool yoga pose or right. like I don't know, whatever. Yeah. It's just kind of a nice way to. It yeah. feels like you know the person a little bit more, and maybe you have a jumping off point, like, oh, hey, you do CrossFit. I don't know, whatever. Right. And then you can talk to them about that. Yeah, that makes so sense. So, if ideally, I, I think it's kind of nice if it's, if you have a little bit more. Yeah, especially, there. maybe not necessarily in your very first picture. Yeah, but, but just in, in there. The other ones. Yeah. yeah. Like you can put your tree picture later on, just your not dog. your first one. <laughs> or your dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Margo, will you or will you not <laughs> give me a hand job after this recording? After? I thought you wanted during. Both. During and Both. after. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. dear listeners, yeah. listen for the point where you think that he... <laughs> they can't hear you. Oh, they can't. You have it all? I'm right there. Uh, maybe. All right, fine. Well, I want this on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I want it crystal clear so the judge will be like, she, she promised it. She that there'll be an HJ during the recording of yeah, this podcast. Yeah, he's like, I, the judge will be like, I listened to that recording. There was the not judge. one HJ given. <laughs> the HJ judge? Yeah. That's a weird job. It's a lifestyle judge. Oh. Yeah. So he, like, comes in and makes rulings on, like, yes, this this couple should fool around, or no, yeah. this couple should not. There's... Yeah. Cl- oh, interesting. That should be an app. Lifestyle judge. Lifestyle judge. <laughs> yeah. And what do you do? You input your... You put what you're looking for, your, yeah, and, and it, it judges for? whether you should be with this couple or not. Interesting. And you're like, should we sleep with mm-hmm. And then whoever. the judge goes, you no. No. <laughs> Gross. No, it's not I, you, no, no. That's mean. Yeah. No, also, it's not all looks-based. No. It's, it is what you're looking for, too, because yeah. some people are looking for different things than... And then the judge can also decree, you're... though, like what you're both looking for. Cause it's like decree. You, you all would like to... Have anal play. Anal go. Play. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I sentence you all to anal play for the next hour. <laughs> See, that's why you got to be honest, folks. Because yeah. <laughs> if you're not, then you get roped into that. Yeah, that would be uh, alarming. Yeah, yeah. For the next hour, jeepers. Yeah, it seems like more like a let's warm up. <laughs> oh, okay. I was <laughs> I was going completely the other direction oh like you thought it was too too long uh, too yeah short? You, you thought, thought it was that... too short <laughs> i 
I think you know that I did not yeah. think that was too short. <laughs> Only an hour. Yeah. Um, okay. A girl can barely get started in an hour.